Is unpacking the ELAR teaks kind of difficult? Let me show you a little trick that I found. If you go to teaksguide.org, this is where you can get all the teaks for ELAR and find ways to assess them, but also there's a new add-on to it. So let me show you. So you find, you click ELAR, pick what grade level you want. You can select what standards you want, and then here it'll show you, let me, so if I click, let me find this one right here, um, identify, use, and explain the meaning of antonyms. If I click it, it's going to take me to this screen where it's going to show me what demonstrating proficiency would look like. So I can use these things as examples of ways to assess. But here's the fun part. If you click al um, alignment and then... This right here is going to show you vertically how it aligns, but if you go to this drop down here in the bottom and hit breakout, this is going to basically unpack the teaks for you. So the student is expected to click the plus sign. They're expected to, and now it has taken out all of your verbs. Explain the meaning of, identify, and use. Click here. Students are going to explain the meaning of um, idioms in context, homophones in context, and antonyms in context. And if I keep going, they're going to identify idioms, homophones, antonyms, synonyms, and they're going to use idioms, homophones, antonyms, and synonyms. So this right here shows you how to unpack the ELAR teaks. So then you could take this um, and transfer it over into your TEKS unpacking worksheet to show evidence that you have talked about what the students are going to need to know and understand. I hope that helps. Thanks.